Hello community, Clear Eye Jin here. You know, in this video, I think it's a good time to showcase my scoreboard system, how things work, and um, just the general logic behind it. I know it may not seem like much, but it's actually a lot harder, or a lot more, there's a lot more work behind it than you would think, especially for a multiplayer game. And maybe in the future, maybe even tomorrow, maybe in a few days, maybe even, maybe even later this week, I could even make a video explaining why multiplayer games are 10 times harder, 100 times harder than uh, your typical single player game, your typical co-op game. And uh, there's also multiple types of multiplayer games. I don't usually see any like casual jargon videos, short brief videos explaining the difference between each and why understanding how all of the models matter um, because it just gives you a much more complete, uh, well-rounded understanding of how to program your game. As a viewer, it helps you understand why certain games can't be done in certain ways. So if you go into a game right now, you will see two characters. Okay. So once you spawn, you will see a font on the top of the game at the center of the map um this is a placeholder that says all you need is skill it's a reference to this uh death game sort of almost battle rail like manga um they made a movie about it with uh, tom cruise um called the edge of tomorrow um but back to the developments um you will see the top it says round one the scoreboard the 3d scoreboard will keep track of what round it is as well as the eight teams as well as their kills not total kills specific kills for this particular round and the reason for this is because this scoreboard isn't actually to keep track of the whole macro zoomed out view of the game. It's just to, it, it's just a little nice thing to look at. When you want to see how the game is progressing, which team is the deadliest, which team to avoid, which team to go after. Now, if you press um, the tab button, you're going to get the true scoreboard. This version of the scoreboard, which is access by tab, right, the tab key. The reason why it's on the tab key is because I'm, I'm going to make it the same functionality as checking your inventory when you're checking your inventory i'm gonna make it so that you can also inspect your gun so that it's just like you're grabbing the gun so it's just like sorry this is a notepad so it's just you grabbing the gun and you're just looking at um the gun on the side and you'll see your entire inventory as well as uh the scoreboard and um so this scoreboard will show you the total kills of the entire game not just the round now if i give you a demonstration right now of uh me shooting this enemy player you will see the scoreboard update so for example it's zero zero right i'm playing team two and this is team one uh, you can tell because team two is always orange and team one is always red so if i shoot team one right now first death and open it up it says team two has won in one game and they've gotten one kill and a new round is starting and if you look up it should no longer say all you need is kill it will say team two has won in one game because that's the most important information that you would want to know at the beginning of a new round. Who's who the victory is, right? And then it says round two. And as you can see, this round, no one has gotten a kill yet. But if you open tab, you will still see the overall bigger picture. Um, the total kills and total wins of every single team. Because last round, I got one kill. So if I switch to player one and I try to kill player two by meleeing him today, backstabbing him with a right click. By backstabbing with a right click. Player 1 will win the game, and you will see this when I press tab, let me load in. Exactly, so both teams, both Team 1 and both Team 2, has had one win, and they're both at one kill. And if you look straight up, again, we're at round 3. So the round tracker is on points, and the scoreboard is reset. Um, let's see if I can get a scope here. Oh, 4 times scope, wow, how lucky. So, you know, we can zoom in a little bit more with the 4 times scope. Oh, there we go. Just to make it easier to see the text. Um, I, I know I'm like, it looks really bad at this angle. And that's because during the normal game, at the, at the normal map, you will spawn a little bit further. At the late game, when you're closer to the center of the map, you wouldn't have to look at the scoreboard, right? Because at that point, there's a, there would only be like one or three teams left. And so that's a demonstration for my game. Again, it seems really simple, but I had to, I had to do a lot of bug fixing and again, multiplayer stuff. Maybe I will make it like a video explaining how to make a multiplayer game. So it's a lot easier for you guys to understand it. Alright, see so you enjoy the rest of your day and uh, don't forget to drink your water.